All right, so we have a Viking van brace and a short kind of hatchet throwing axe here uh, to test a little bit and to see just how much force it would take to break through this type of leather. So you can see it left a pretty good indentation, but did not break through, nor did it do anything to the wood underneath. So you can take a pretty substantial hit with one of these and uh, keep on going. And that was on a weakened part of the leather that uh, had already been scratched with the axe. So let's try it again, same place, or close to the same place. And again, we have definitely a bit of separation on the top there, but still nothing coming through. So this is a pretty sturdy piece of equipment. Could have held up to quite a bit of uh, rough play. So let's try with the sword. <laughs> now Vikings typically, unless you were very, very wealthy, did not own swords. Uh, these were not common weapons. They were hard to make. They were hard to upkeep. As you can tell, uh, Reaper here has gotten a couple of dings in it. But this long taper and this wide bottom helped give a, a quite a good bit of weight to the weapon so you didn't have to work as hard to swing it so let's see what it does to our leather here so much longer cut obviously but actually a lot shallower um so it looks like it didn't do a whole whole lot let's try it again just for posterity's sake So again, it really didn't even cut all that much, um, but we were only using kind of the last foot or so of the blade. The real powerhouse of these weapons was closer to the midguard, um, but in order to get there, you had to get very, very close to your opponent. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like. Pass the camera off. So the first one barely, barely did anything at all. A little bit of a scuff. And that last one, quite a bit more, but you can see how it gets deeper and then more and more shallow. Um, and that was the problem with these weapons. They had a pretty shallow draft. The force of the impact at the first would be your real cutting power, but then it would very, very quickly lose that as the energy got dispersed through the rest of the armor. Um, these weapons really weren't meant to be used on armor. They were meant to go directly into skin. Um, and this thrusting point here would have helped with that to either go down at an angle or to come up and kind of weave through armor or to kind of worm to the small uh, little niches and uh, breakage in the armor um, to try to weaken it even further so that the big axe guys could, could do what they, what they did. Um, but you can see why this wasn't a very popular weapon on the battlefield. It took a lot of force. You have to have a lot of room to swing it and it doesn't hold up to, to the armor of the day. So 